It was the early part of the 1900s. Life was often unimaginably difficult, tragic, and frequently deadly. World War I was a brutal conflict that ran from July 1914 to November 1918 with an estimated 8.5 million combatant deaths and 13 million civilian deaths as a direct result of the war. Many infectious diseases were still common across the world. For example, in 1910, there were half a million cases of typhoid fever and 50,000 deaths just in the United States. A 1912 report in the New York Times showed that many child deaths still occurred from measles, scarlet fever, whooping cough, and diphtheria. Typhus fever caused enormous amounts of suffering and death. Between 1917 and 1921, Russia had 25 million cases and up to 3 million deaths. In 1919, the New York Times reported on typhus ravaging through Europe, stating it was the worst since the Middle Ages. In 1920, the New York Times reported that 95% of the population of Poland had or has typhus with a death rate of between 15 and 60%. Yet the suffering and death from those diseases are not usually historically noted. What is remembered and indicated in charts is a unique disease sometimes known as the Spanish flu. This disease rampaged across the globe, eventually killing tens of millions. The first face that appeared in the spring of 1918 behaved much like the typical flu. The usual symptoms were chills, fever, and fatigue. It was known as the three-day fever. It resulted in relatively few deaths compared with other years of the age, with most people recovering after a few days. However, during the same year in the fall, an apparently highly contagious and much more deadly disease emerged. The skin of the people affected by this disease turned blue and their lungs filled with fluids. Victims died within hours or days of symptom onset. Usually young adults were among the hardest hit group, which usually re remains unaffected by this type of epidemic. A fifth of victims suffered only mild symptoms, but the rest became gravely ill and often died. Some succumbed within hours, other held on for a few days. In the United States, the first deaths were recorded among sailors in Boston in late August 1918, but the epidemic quickly spread to all parts of the country. Schools closed, public entertainments were shut down, people everywhere wore masks. It did little good. Between the autumn of 1918 and spring of the following year, over half a million people died of this flu just in America. Mysteriously, this illness erupted suddenly all over the place from Madrid to Bombay to Philadelphia all in the same week. In addition, the disease did not distinguish between rural and urban areas ranging from the densely populated East Coast to sparsely populated parts of Alaska. The worldwide mortality has been estimated to be anywhere from 15 to 100 million people. However, a more recent publication suggested it was probably toward the lower end of the range at around 17 million. The cause of the disease was thought to be a highly contagious influenza virus. To gather more information about the seemingly obviously infectivity of this disease, several teams of doctors performed a series of experiments using sick patients and healthy volunteers. Because of restrictions on YouTube, please listen to the rest of this video for free on Odyssey by clicking on the link below. Thank you and have a stellar day.